Hey guys, just finished tonight's workout. We're about four and a half weeks out from uh, my October 13th meet at uh, SSP Barbell uh, on the road to 600 pounds. Tonight was a great workout. A uh, bunch of reps and sets over 500 pounds and you know, I'll show it a little later on the video. I don't know how to do the voiceover, so I can't do the whole video, stream it together and voice over it. I don't know how to do that shit. I'm no, uh, I'm no Jason Blaha, so I, I'm not sure how to do that. So uh, just some people have been asking me to show a little more video with the training I've been up to and how I'm progressing along, so that's cool. So that's why I decided I'm gonna do, go back to just a little bit of a preamble uh, before I throw the videos up uh, in, uh, on YouTube and on Facebook as to what I'm up to. So it went well tonight. Um, I wasn't sure about the, the 550 going into it, so took some smaller jumps. And actually, as it got heavier, it moved a little bit better overall. So it just shows you that um, once it gets yeah, heavy, starts feeling heavy, it's it's a, it's a mind fuck, and you just got to fight through that and just you know have confidence in what you're doing and what your progression has been like. One thing I will do is uh, Sunday uh, was my last heavy close grip uh, where I benched over 505 on that close grip. So I'm going to drop that now going into the last four weeks, and I'm going to turn Sunday more into volume, nothing less than. 10 reps on close grip, just get some pump in there, and just let the nervous system recover. So hitting Sunday and then following it up again, uh, Tuesday, it's about 72 hours, so the nervous system's taking a bit of a beating, but I like doing that going into the training so that when I drop it the last three weeks, I feel like I'm, I'm super recovering because of that. So um, I should notice a difference next Tuesday and definitely Tuesday before that, and then uh, the week before, I'll be dropping all heavy lifting and seven to 10 days out, just uh, deload and recover and stuff so that, uh, I'm feeling really good and well recovered. My goal for the 13th, if everything goes well, is open 550, uh, 575, which I missed um, in December of uh, 2017. So I want to hit that, and then uh, third, if I get that on my second, like I hope I will, maybe we'll give the 600 a ride on the third. If not, then I'm still on target for uh, hitting 600 in December. And I'm looking probably Texas for that. Uh, just it's warm, and I want to go down there and visit the guys and see what's going on down there. Uh, so things are going well, watch the videos, uh, you'll see I hit uh, a 500 and then a 525, the 550, and then I come back and work that triple of 500. And I really want to spend more time building the reps at the 500, it just, I find it gives me more toughness and more confidence with the 500. And coming down from the 550 to the 500, the bar feels a lot lighter initially, but by the second rep, it all comes back and stuff. But I just really want to just toughen the fuck up underneath that 500 pounds. And, the, what I'm liking too is uh, over the last two or three weeks, I'm spending a lot more sets and reps over 500 pounds. And that's really good, uh, I find just for my overall strength and toughness, but really good for my confidence. Just spend more time over 500. Um, and just, it doesn't intimidate me as much so that when I get closer to the meet, I feel very confident, you know, warming up into the fives and then, you know, hitting the numbers I plan on hitting. So uh, I'll do this every Tuesday. I'll do sort of a recap of the video, of the workout, uh, followed by three or four of the videos. Uh, if anything, guys, reach out to me, KurtHoss at gmail.com, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. That second one drifted right back on me. <laughs> 